In this video, we're gonna go through the EV production suite. Now there's two parts to this video. So the first part, we're gonna be looking at kind of like the studio lighting. And then the second part, we're gonna be looking at the, like the material creator and so on and so forth. Now I'm gonna be using this pretty lass from Character Creator 3, Reillusion, and also a car from the Trafficker add-on. So we've kind of got the best of both worlds. Now I've kind of already reinstalled these two add-ons. And from here, we got a whole bunch of um, pre-setups, presets, that's the word, that we can use. Uh, so let's go click on the candlelight and we can see how nice that looks. Let's bring in our lovely little lady back in. And that's quite nice. Now I'm using Eevee at the moment. These do work with cycles as well. It's just the name is Eevee. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in the material setup. So, but let's kind of just flick through just to kind of give you a bit of an idea. So we can click on this jazz. And you can see the lighting's quite nice. Let's go on to this one. Beautiful backgrounds. Now there's another thing here. We've got fogs, fog, fog. So we've got a little bit of astro, not astro, asm, asmoth, asmopheric, 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 astro. Oh my goodness. What is the word? Atmospheric. Light, fog, oh fuck. <laughs> so there is that little bit of fog that comes through and it kind of diffuses the light, so on and so forth. Um, we can come in and we can start changing the settings around. Where's our fog setting, smoke control. And we can start changing the colors around, so on and so forth. So it's quite nice, it's really good. Um, another cool thing is, let's actually just have a look at the car as well. There we go. That is not the car. There we go. And so it's, yeah, it's giving us a really nice effect. Now, one thing I really like here is if I press numpad zero, you can see that we're in our camera. Let me just select our camera. From here, we can go into camera settings. And obviously if I middle mouse button and click, it kind of moves and breaks. Let's put numpad key again. If I hold shift, it kind of moves the, um, the view around but if i go lock to view and hold shift we can move around hold middle mouse we move around middle the mouse wheel so this is a real good setting i mean i know it's there's another way of doing it but this is the way i'm going to be doing it from now on we can click unlock to view and then we're back to moving around let's just press the numpad zero again uh, from here we can add in some depth of field and we can change with the focal note the f-stop and we can hold shift to zoom in slowly till we got that nice. So we can kind of play with that. We can go focal length, blah, 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 change this around. So we can get some really nice effects with the camera. Um, we've also got all the color management here. So it's more everything is one location. Um, rather than going through, not film, color management down here, everything's kind of already there. The other thing as well here is that it creates some, um, what are they called? These things with all the dots, light probes. It, it creates some light probes. Um, so we can quickly go ahead and bake those light probes where we click on render settings, bake indirect. And then you can see now that it's baked those, uh, that lighting. Now, obviously there's a few other things we can do down here. If we scroll down a little bit more, there's a few other things. Let's crack open the house, period key. And there's a car in the house. And there we go, we just break the lighting again. And you can see that we're getting some really good results of being in here as well. Now, of course, with all the lighting, so on and so forth, we can all change the lights, um, you know, and rather than going through our properties up here in the top right hand corner, we can select our keys, our backs and fills, so on and so forth. So there's a lot of versatility in setting up your scenes. Now with the short film, the pod racer short film, I will definitely be using this quite a bit. Um, but other than that, it is quite now quite nice. Now let's jump over into the second section, which is the materials. So from here, we've got Suzanne. Oh, what's that? More rats? No, not more rats. Oh, what are clerks? Maybe that feel. Anyway, so let's create a new material and straight off the bat here on the right hand side, we've got a whole bunch of PBR presets. 
Some of these only work in cycles. So for instance, the mask pointiness, if I go add shader and we go get out of here, the PBR thing in Eevee doesn't really do much. However, jumping over into cycles because the pointiness node isn't in Eevee, it's only in cycles. Then we kind of get that pointiness of the object coming out. So that's just something to be mindful of. But of course, you know, we've got a whole bunch of jazz that we can use, add shader. We can throw that one into here. And then we've kind of got this whole assortment of um, grouped nodes. So rather than all the other materials that we've been using, which is already predefined, like extreme PBR combo, um, material Q, we've got the Adobe suite, we've got the blender kit. So now this is kind of like number five. I've got a lot of materials now, which is good because I hate materials. But from here, we can just see that we've kind of got, what have we got? We've got fabrics, we've got leathers, we've got papers, uh, Musgrave variations. So we can use a whole bunch of these and combine them to create your own material. So this is a brief overview of the EV production suite. There is a link in the description. If you want to support the channel, click on that for me, please. Um, if you want me to continue bringing add-ons, hit the subscribe button because there's quite a few add-ons starting to come out. I'm just, just letting you know. Um, and yes, until next time, I'll see you then.